Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Once again, it's another video, and it comes to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai Baal Shem, Kakwadash. All praises and glory is definitely due, especially in these times. And speaking of these times, the one most important thing we can do outside of learning this truth and mastering these scriptures is to pray, to pray, to pray. Okay, it's very important to pray to Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. Pray for deliverance, pray for protection, pray for guidance, pray for more wisdom, pray for more understanding. Pray, pray, pray. You know, after the camp uh, earlier tonight, uh, when we were, well, right before we were dismissed, I was looking at all the brothers as we gathered together. And I said, look, brothers, you're going to have to pray, man. You're going to have to pray, pray, you know, and... Um, Right after we were dismissed, uh, one of the brothers, I'm not going to say his name, he came up to me and he said, you know what, Elder? I was just thinking that. I was thinking that and you confirmed it. And I was kind of blown away by that because the Spirit just had me tell the brothers, look, you got to pray. We got to pray. Okay? We got to pray more. You know, we're in that time now, brothers. You see all the hell that's about to come upon this place. So the one way you can... Uh, uh, withstand it is to pray and I'm saying that to all you brothers across the world not only in GMS you outside the you other Israelite groups too you know the, 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 you know prayer I can't stress the importance of prayer okay prayer pray man and I was just reading this uh, uh, message from uh, uh, Elder Madigan beautiful brother from uh, uh, GMS um, down there in DC and uh, let me just read what he's got here. Uh, um, GMS Army of 144, that's his channel. Our livelihood in this world is about to change, which is true. The big changes are coming, man. All we have to do is stay prayed up in sincerity. And I agree. Uh, ba Tha Ma Wom and Truth Ba Amath, which is in Hebrew is uh, in truth. Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai, Barakatham Baal Shem which is, which is ancient Hebrew for in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And when we pray, it doesn't have to be a long, epic prayer. As a matter of fact, let me share the scripture with you. This is from the book of Philippians, the fourth chapter, beginning at the fifth verse. It says, Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand, which is true. The Lord is at hand. And all the signs are there for our Lord to come back. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer, by prayer, which the word prayer, when you go into the etymology of the word, it means to beg. So literally, we're begging Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai for the things that we want. Mostly guidance, protection, more wisdom, more knowledge, understanding, more faith. Those are the things we really pray for, okay? Because, and you, you might pray for your daily bread, but, you know, our bread is assured if we're doing the right thing by Yahweh Baal Shem Yahweh Shai. As the scripture has said, our bread is assured, okay? We're going to get our daily bread. But the main things I personally would pray for is more knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Holy Scriptures, more faith, okay? Definitely more faith. Um, what else? More guidance, more protection. Those are the things I would really pray for, Okay? Uh, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. Now, the word supplication means to beg. So, the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through Son Yahweh Shah, they like it when we beg. When we beg them for, for, you know, when you beg the Father, man, the Father likes that, man. You know, because He loves us. As Israelites, we're His chosen. But we got to beg Him, man. We got to go to Him in prayer, okay? Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto the Father. Let your requests be made known unto the Father. So what does that say? To pray, to pray, to pray, to pray. Brothers, I'm talking to you brothers all across the world. You are not praying enough. You have to pray, man. You have to pray. There's, there's no more important weapon than prayer. Okay, let's bring in another scripture. Uh, uh, bear with me for me now. I gotta find it. Okay, this is another 
powerful because you can you can learn these scriptures but if you don't pray then that means you really don't believe think about it if we don't pray i keep saying you we if we don't pray right that means we really don't believe and all this great wisdom knowledge and understanding that we're, that we're getting of the scriptures if we don't pray take time to pray this is where we we, we we're honestly speaking to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai in the spirit. We're praying. That means we don't believe. That's what it means. It means we don't we do not believe. Okay, so prayer is very important. This is the book of Luke 18 and 1. It says, And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. And when you go into the parable, Esau calls it the importunate widow. Okay, because the widow kept begging for justice from this unjust judge. And finally, the unjust judge got tired of the widow, keep coming to him. So he said, look, whatever the widow wants, I'm going to give it to her. Because he got tired of her keep coming to him. So that's, that's the point. The Heavenly Father never get tired of us coming to him. He wants us to come to him. So we always got to come to him in prayer, man. We always got to beg him for whatever we need in prayer. Okay, and I told you the things you should pray for in this ministry and you sisters you should really pray for a husband a real husband that the lord could send you in the faith to help protect you because that's going to be your protection in these days you know a, a strong husband in the faith okay believe it or not it tells you that in isaiah the 32nd chapter a man shall be your protection okay so just a few words to you okay so that's luke 18 and 1 let's get another scripture um what is that psalm we used to say that at the main school Psalm 55, this is what David said, 55, and uh, let me give you the verse, I forgot what the verse was, Psalm 55, and uh, excuse me, Psalm 55, here, here it is, Psalm 55 and 16, now King David said this, let's prove that, a Psalm of David, right, so, and you know, the, uh, the Heavenly Father said, David is a man after his own heart. Okay, so there you go. Uh, Psalm 55 and 16, as for me, I will call upon the Lord. And how do we do that? We do that in prayer. And the Lord shall save me, especially the times we're in, brothers. <laughs> no, more is, more, no more is there a more important time to pray than now. Think about it, man. All this hell that's about to come down. Um, uh, 17 verse, evening and morning and at noon will I pray. And cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. Oh, that's powerful. That's powerful. Okay, let me read that again. Evening and morning and at noon, that's three times a day, will I pray and cry aloud. Sometimes you can cry aloud to the Heavenly Father. If you're feeling really down in the spirit, tell him about it. He knows. But he wants to see if we have faith, if we're going to come to him. I'm telling you, it takes faith to pray. A lot of guys don't pray because really they don't have no faith. They're learning all these scriptures and they're, and they're sounding wonderful. They're sounding like top-notch prophets. But at the end of the day, they simply do not pray. So what does that mean? They really do not believe. They really do not believe. If we don't pray, then that means we don't believe. Okay? We have to pray, brothers. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud and he shall hear my voice. What more do you need? <laughs> All right. So just a little word on prayer. Hopefully you found it edifying and uplifting and comforting. I'm telling you, brothers, to really get the uh, uh, maximum benefit of this truth, you, you have to pray. For us to get the maximum benefit of this truth, we have to pray, brothers. We have to pray. And it doesn't have to be an epic prayer. You can be driving and you can say a prayer in your mind. You can be on the train, you can be on the bus, you can be going to go into the job, you can be on the job. You can say a prayer in your mind. Or just quickly say, you know, uh, you know, under your breath, you can quickly say, Oh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, please have mercy up, upon me. I like to say that every now and then. Because I really want Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to have mercy upon me. You can pray for the elect. You can you can say, Oh, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, please pray. Um, please uh, bless the elect and protect the elect. You can say that. I'm just giving you ideas. As a matter of fact, I just showed you um, uh, Elder Madigan's channel. He's always doing prayers in Hebrew. As a matter of fact, he has here prayers for your livelihood. 
This is a prayer, um, you know, prayers in Hebrew. He writes prayers in Hebrew on his channel. So you might want to check his channel out because when you pray in Hebrew now, that's even more power because, <laughs> I mean, come on, you know, it's Hebrew, the Lord's language. Yahweh Shai spoke Hebrew, okay? All right, so at this point, I'll let it go. Hopefully the video resonated with you and you got something out of it. Prayer, man, you, you can't beat it. It's, it's a very powerful weapon, man. All right, we got to pray more, brothers. We got to pray more. So, shalom to you, and I'll see you in the next video.